This is Southall. Indeed, I'm back at Southall Minster today. It's a very wet Southall today. Started off quite nice when I left home, but the cloud has filled in the blue sky, what blue sky there was, and it's been chucked it down with rain. Lots of water everywhere today, but I've come here with a specific purpose, and that purpose is to look for leaf mines. You may well be glancing around either side of me and thinking, well, there's no leaf mines on any of the trees. How can you possibly find leaf mines in the middle of December almost as we are now? Well, there's a secret to that. That secret to finding leaf mines in the middle of December lies on the tree behind me. That tree is Quercus ilex, an evergreen oak. And there's some leaf mines on it. Came here two years ago. I thought it was last year that had revisited this particular tree because Dennis and I visited this tree most years for many years looking for these it's a species that I've featured before and from this very location and tree and these are the leaf mines of Ectodemia heringella not long been in Nottinghamshire not long been in the UK to be honest I think it was 1990s when it turned up in the UK and then turned up, it remained unidentified actually until 2002 when someone suddenly decided, hey, that's Ectodemia heringella. And now it's pretty much everywhere in Nottinghamshire, wherever there are evergreen oaks such as this one, very likely that this little leaf miner is present, although it stubbornly refuses to visit and colonise evergreen oak in Mansfield and one at Newstead Abbey. Now the first record of this tiny little leaf miner which makes its mines late in the year. Don't bother looking for this until at least sort of late October or even better mid-November. You can of course find signs and remnants of the old leaf mines on the older leaves throughout the year but active mines won't appear until about late October onwards. I haven't looked to see whether these mines do have lava in, chances are they probably do and it seems unusual as to why although this tree has leaves on it all year round why the small caterpillars become active in the winter months. But they do, and they form these tiny little twisted gallery mines. Mines only cover a small area. There's one size of my grubby finger there. So you can see how the mines aren't very large at all, and you can get numerous mines covering the leaves. There's high infestations of this in South Nottinghamshire, especially on trees in the grounds of Nottingham University. Up here at Southall, Despite coming to look for it every year since well, about 2010, we started to look for it, did it and myself. It wasn't until 2021 that finally found them on this tree, and I counted six mines. Unfortunately, did this didn't live to see Ectodemia heringella reach South or, and the rest of Nottinghamshire. And what I've come here for today is purely to try and count these, see how. The population has grown in the two years since I last visited Southall to look for the mines here. I'll try and hold this branch still, but we have mines here. I've not gone all around the tree yet, but the majority of the mines of Ectodemia heringella here at Southall are on the sheltered 
sort of northeasterly or easterly side of the tree and generally lower down but as the populations of this moth increase then the whole tree becomes a veritable mine of mines so to speak and the tree will get covered every available leaf will be utilized doesn't do as much damage though to the leaf area as much as the horse chestnut leaf miner does but we've got three mines here look and there are more just underneath here I can certainly say there's another one there top of the screen that the population here has increased but only increased it appears slowly as well as the leaf mines of Ectodemia heringella, there are a couple of other species which you can look for if you can find an evergreen oak. They're not commonly planted, but most of the older parts throughout the UK have probably got one, but it's not a common tree in Nottinghamshire. But among a couple of other species that you can look for are these. This is the leaf mine of Philonerictor musaniella, doesn't look much like a leaf mine there, but it is a blotch leaf mine. The Saniella will feed on a number of trees, but if we look underneath, there's the typical Philonerichter blotch mine with one large crease in here. So that's another species that you can look for. Philonerichters are attractive little moths. They might be very small, but they are absolutely beautiful. But See, from that angle, not much of an indication of a leaf mine. It just looks like a discoloured area on the leaf. But turn it over, there's the blotch mine. Ectodemia heringella, as I mentioned, is relatively new to Nottinghamshire. And it is moving north as well. Currently the most northerly location I have for it is Retford in the Retford Cemetery there, but it's also on a single tree that's on Trent. It's certainly increasing, but I say, the western parts of Nottinghamshire doesn't seem to have reached yet for some inexplicable reason, and despite going there annually, as much as I have done here, it's not turned up at Mansfield or at the large evergreen oak just south of Newstead Abbey building. But another leaf miner which has also reached Nottinghamshire in recent years is a stigmella and it's stigmella subivora that's only found so far in three sites south of Nottinghamshire quite close together in the Trent Valley it's certainly present trees at the entrance to Colic Country Park if I remember right I was the first one to find subivora in Nottinghamshire but I've not managed to locate it anywhere north of Nottingham one day it'll probably turn up here. It needs to hurry though, otherwise there'll be no leaf area for it to mine. That has a totally different type of mine. Although it's a gallery mine, it's usually along the edge of a leaf or down one side of the leaf and it's a larger but less sinuous gallery mine but it's one to look out for, one you can go out and look for on your local evergreen oak if you can find one now I know you'll all be shouting look at the ladybirds in that acorn cup more about those in a minute because we have another miner that will turn up on evergreen oaks and this is an upper surface mine it's a blotch mine although it starts out as a silver gallery you can just see the remnants of that silver gallery at the beginning there, the beginning of the mine. And this, it's a very obvious mine, this one's very old though now, but this is the leaf mine of Acrocercops brogniardella. There's a name to conjure with. So that's an old species of leaf miner that you can find on this one species of tree. But, as you've all noticed, the cups, the acorn cups of evergreen oaks often host ladybirds all living in perfect harmony as they do while I was holding said cup or said twig we had a strong gust of wind 
I think I've caught it on film and the wind took the tree and I was left holding this. I will secure it and I will make sure that these ladybirds are perfectly safe and happy when I put it back. But what we have in here are two species of ladybirds. First of all, I thought this one here, for some reason, I thought it was a seven spot when I first saw it, but it's not. It's actually another two spot. And in the, uh, the others are five Harmonia axeridis, Harlequin ladybirds. So you've got two species of ladybirds in this cup. Two spot and Harlequin ladybird. As I mentioned, or will mention, depending how I edit this, I've often found two spot ladybirds tucked in with groups of Harlequins. But, as this was left in my hand following the gust of wind, I noticed this. In this left hand cup, the smaller one, we have another two species of ladybirds. We have three cream spot ladybirds. And just tucked in there, you may well be able to see a smaller pale brown orangey ladybird. And that's a ten spot ladybird, minus the spots. 10 spot ladybirds are um, incredibly variable, probably our most variable species that we have in the UK. The harlequin of course is variable and there are three main forms of harlequins, but 10 spot is very variable. Amazing these little cups, they hang sort of like that and provide perfect protection for the during the winter for these lovely aren't they well I've only been here about a quarter of an hour 20 minutes and I found plenty to keep me occupied the main reason for me to come here was to check that evergreen oak for the leaf mines of Ectodemia heringella and yet I've also found another two species of leaf mines in the form of Philonerypta musaniella and Acrocercops bromniardella. I had to think then for a minute and it hurt. But I always like looking in the acorn cups. Now the acorns have dropped off and those acorns that are open ended and faces downwards always have something in them. Amongst the species I found before are green shield bugs overwintering. Bird shield bugs was another, I found two in one cup, I remember, a few years ago. Today, four species of ladybirds, and if I looked around, I could probably find another one, possibly two. Oh, while we've got a break in the weather, I think it's time for home. Oh,